Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss a brief history of Power BI. And I was trying to figure out and go through, went through a couple of blogs and I will point you to those blogs eventually. Uh, but so I'll just take you through the various components of Power BI and how they came about and where they started. So if you look at this uh, slide I've got here in 2006, Project Gemini, um, which took the power of SSAS and made it as an in-memory engine became available. So to me, it seems like in 2006 somewhere, the tabular model or the in-memory model was conceived. But in 2009, it became known as Power Pivot and was released as a free Excel add-in. So that's where the journey of Power Pivot or the in-memory engine started. In 2012, Power View, which is the dashboarding or reporting site or the one where we've got the look and feel or the visualization. So that was introduced as part of SharePoint in 2012. So the Power View, Power View was introduced in 2012. And in 2013, a Data Explorer was released and later in the same year was named as Power Query. So as you can see, Power BI has got three essential components. One is the data modeling component where you've got a data model, which is typically a tabular database. So that is typically a Power Pivot component. And when we create dashboards and reports, we use the look and feel, and that's the Power BI view. And to get the data and to load the data, we use Power Query. So that's till 2013. In 2015, Microsoft integrated all of this and came out with the Power BI service. So 2015, I think Microsoft came out with the Power BI desktop. And it also came out with the Power BI service, which is a cloud service. Uh, forward to 2017, uh, Microsoft came out with the Power BI report server. So Power BI report server is an, you can host your own Power BI reports on prem premises rather than putting it on the cloud. So that's the power of the rep report server. And Power BI embedded is you can, you can embed the Power BI application into your Power BI reports into your own application. Uh, and that's Power BI embedded, which was introduced in 2017, which has been a bit of a game changer for Microsoft. Um, so this is a brief history of uh, Power BI from starting from 2016 to uh, so far. And uh, let's have a look at what I was referring to. So I went and checked it on this, on Wikipedia and there's this thing called Project Crescent, which I'm not sure. So it seems it started as part of Project Crescent, but then I also looked at this blog and I really like Tim Rodman's blog. And he's given a, a brief history and I sort of uh, used this to build the presentation with the timelines. So I, I will add these on as part of the notes should you want to explore this blogs and the and Wikipedia site. Additionally, I'll also put on a link for Power BI Embedded. Uh, and I hope I've, you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Thanks again.